Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today I got a really cool trailer for you guys. This is a used 2022 Cimarron Lone Star stock trailer. It's a 24 foot stock combo. The cool thing about it is it is extra wide. It's a 7.6 wide trailer and it's set up to kind of be an all around trailer. It's set up with dividers to use for horses. You can use it for cattle. When we ordered this trailer, we set it up really nicely to kind of be a nice combo trailer between a show trailer, a cattle livestock trailer, and a horse trailer, kind of whatever you want to use it for. And it's really optioned out nice. So we'll walk you guys around it. Again, it's a used 2022. It is available right now. Start up here at your front tack area. As you can see, it is a swing out front tack with an extra wide door. I like doing these extra wide doors on these swing outs. We have to do them to get the swing out, but the cool thing about making it extra wide is you can see you still have enough room to walk by your saddles with it swung out. That way you're not having to swing the saddle rack in and out if you're getting stuff from out of your tack room as well. The swing out saddle rack, it is gonna run on a gas piston. So once you get your big heavy saddles on there, that gas piston is really gonna help you pull those saddles out and push those saddles back in. Once you start pulling it, that piston kind of kicks in and does the work for you. So again, makes it really nice to get your saddles out here, right here where you're gonna be saddling your horses, anything like that. That gas piston is really gonna help you guys. This being kind of a 24 foot stock combo with a 20 foot stock back, we put four racks on here because you could probably fit four. You can most likely fit five horses back here. But you can fully adjust these if you want. You can remove them if you're not using all four. You can add more if you want a fifth saddle rack. They just slip in this track and bolt on really easy for you guys. And they're really nice carpeted with a rubber grommet on top to kind of keep your saddles from rolling off if you're hitting some rough roads. On your access door into this tack room, we have that same four tier swing out blanket rack that you guys see on a lot of our trailers. I really like it. It runs on that same gas piston. Again, I like that gas piston, not so much because the weight's going to be a factor on this swing out blanket bar, but because once you put your blankets on this bar and push it over to that door, that piston is gonna hold all your blankets snug against that door. So again, when you get where you're going, your blankets aren't sitting on the floor. They're not falling off that rack. It's really gonna hold those blankets up against there. And then below that, we have your three compartment brush tray. Really nice to store your brushes, your sprays, your show sheen, your fly spray. And the cool thing I like about it is it's compartmentalized into three different areas. So that way, if you do have a bottle of fly spray that freezes one morning, cracks, breaks, and starts leaking, it's gonna contain that leak to one of these three compartments. And then it's also gonna have drain holes in those as well. So if you have something freeze, crack, leak, anything like that, it's not gonna get everything nasty and it's gonna drain before it really builds up in there as well. We do have a fold up step. We do these on all of our trailers that we order for inventory. Just because it's such a small upgrade, but we feel it does so much more for the trailer. It makes it a nice, easy step up into this front tack room. So this is a 24 foot stock combo. You get about a three and a half foot short wall on your front tack area, which gives you about a seven and a half foot long wall. So again, plenty of space in the stock combo to store tack, feed, grain, whatever it may be. It's a really nicely set up trailer that keeps your length really manageable. We have your fully carpeted gooseneck deck, drop wall, and then again, we do have this 12 inch boot box here up front. Again, carpet, car, two different compartments. Um, split you can store stuff in there it serves as a nice step up into your gooseneck area again keeping your stuff organized out of the way not rolling around in here we like to set these trailers up to keep you guys organized while you travel because they get pretty hectic when you're going to rodeo shows and stuff like that as far as stuff building up and cluttering up a trailer pretty quick on your partition wall we have two rows of, or three rows of six bridle hooks up high Again, fully carpeted below those bridle hooks we like to carpet behind bridle hooks especially when it's just over a mill aluminum that way, if you have you know bridles, conchos, bits, stuff like that that are moving back and forth while you're traveling, it's not scratching up your trailer. Then on top of that, the trailer's not gonna scratch up your nice bits as well. So again, you're gonna have plenty of hooks for storing bridles, stuff like that here on this partition wall. Then in the corner over here, gives you kind of a better look at that swing out saddle rack as it's swung in and that big gas piston that's gonna operate that. I'm gonna swing it out for you guys, show you that water tank behind there. So again, you can see how easy that swings out and how that piston kind of operates. But then behind that, doing a corner swing out saddle rack setup like this, it gives us the ability to hide a 25 gallon water tank right behind that saddle rack, which again, being able to carry water from home with you is really important. One, because it's really hard to, hard to find places that are gonna let you fill up and water your horses while you're traveling. And again, some horses aren't just gonna like drinking water. That's not their water they're used to at home. So this gives you the ability to be able to take enough water to water your horses, your dogs, wash stuff off if you need to. It's always nice to just have that extra feature on a trailer to be able to keep you guys safe and keep your horses hydrated while you guys are traveling. Up above me, you will have an LED entry light into this area. So again, you'll have enough light. If it is dark out, you can see in here, see what you're doing, check on your tack, 
stuff like that. And before we jump out of here, I want to point out this trailer is fully wrapped in plexiglass, so you will have a Lone Star stock in the back, so you have your plexiglass air tracks, and it is fully plexiglassed all the way around this trailer. What Cimarron does is they give you a handy little plexiglass storage tray. It's really handy, you know, you get in summer months and you're not running plexiglass all the time. You pull it out, you can stick it in there. It's not sitting in a tack room, sitting in a barn on a floor where it can get stepped on and get broke. It's nice and tucked away right there. You never have to worry about where it is, what condition it is. Just a really nice feature Cimarron does. Again, keep your stuff organized while you guys are traveling. Moving down to your stock area, your tie outside on this trailer. Again, plexiglass all the way around. You're going to have a 16 inch LED spotlight out here on your tie outside. So again, early morning, late nights, you're going to have plenty of light to be able to saddle if you're doing something early in the morning. Check on your horses late at night if you're tying out and feeding on the side of this trailer. You will have three tie rings on each side of this trailer. Again, tying horses out. I want to give you the option to tie both sides. Again, in case it's sunny one place, shady the other, you're going to have the ability to tie horses all the way around this trailer. Cool thing I like about it is it is seven six wide, so you're getting an extra width for you know putting horses in this trailer. Um, a lot of times the six ten is just a little bit too narrow to get as many horses as you want to fit, but they ride a lot more comfortable in an extra wide like this. But not going a full eight wide, you still get a little bit of running board for the length of this trailer, which I like because it allows you to be able to step up on that running board, check on your horses and stuff like that, and you're not having to climb you know on a fender flare or anything like that because you do get that full length running board. Down low we do have your aluminum wheels. Again, these are nitrogen filled tires. They come direct from the factory, nitrogen filled. Um, what the nitrogen filled does is it pretty much eliminates 99% of the oxygen in these tires and the nitrogen doesn't contract and expand like oxygen does. So you're not having to worry about it being super cold in the morning, super warm in the afternoon and having that PSI fluctuate in these tires. It's really gonna help you guys while you're traveling as far as preventing blowouts, preventing flats, stuff like that. It's gonna really add to the life of the tires you put on this trailer. Coming around to the back, your load side of this trailer, it is just a full swinging gate, no slider, anything like that. Just one full gate that is fully plexiglassed, high and low, both in that gate. You will have your six inch LED spotlight back here as well again, giving you and your horses enough light to be able to see what you're doing while you're loading and offloading. That way you, you stay safe and your horses do as well. Floor in here, it's typical simmer on floor. It's gonna be the strongest floor on the horse trailer market today. They build it on four inch centers. So no matter your horses, your cattle, your livestock, whatever you're hauling, no matter where they're standing, they'll be standing directly over a support beam on this trailer. Most manufacturers will build them on 12, 16 inch centers. Cimarron builds the strongest floor. They do it on four inch centers for you guys. Again, keeping you safe, keeping your horses safe while you travel. It is just a rubber matted floor over the top of that. With it being a stock combo, it's pretty easy to just pull these mats out because it's just pretty much just a wide open box in here thing I like that we did in this trailer that isn't typical of most stock combos. Most stock combos you see, they're going to have one single cut gate that's going to run about the width of the middle of the trailer. So you have a compartment up front, a compartment up back. But as you can see, we put a second cut gate in this trailer to kind of serve as a stud stall for you guys. So you'll have your center cut gate in the back, but you also have a stud stall in the front. So again, if you do have a horse that likes to kick or you want to separate one horse from the rest of them, you do have the ability to do that up here as well. I also like it because it is a full height stud wall. With it being full height, you can easily stack a bunch of bales of hay in this front stud stall. It's full height, so it's going to hold the hay from falling into your horses or livestock or whatever you're traveling with. So again, you have a bunch of options on this trailer as far as how many horses can I haul, how many cows can I haul. You can haul a bunch of tack up front, you can haul a bunch of feed in this front stud stall. It gives you guys a bunch of options as far as what you want to do with these dividers and the trailer itself. The cool thing about it is they do run really close to the wall when they are latched in place like that. So if you do just need a big wide open stock trailer, you can pin those over there. Gives you about a 610 wide trailer, which is pretty typical of a stock trailer with those folded over. So you do have a full just wide open stock trailer if that is something you needed. In this stock area, again, standard Cimarron stuff, you're gonna get your full insulated roof running the whole length of this trailer, stock area and your living quarters area. So it's gonna keep your horses about 20% cooler in the summer and about 20% warmer in the trailer than just like a standard aluminum roof you would see on the trailer. You will have three two-way roof vents kind of positioned in each one of these stalls, one for your stud stall, one for your front stall, and one for your back. Again, giving you guys the option to manipulate that airflow, cool your horses off how you need to in that moment in time. Then again, 
LED, upgraded LED lighting throughout these trailers. It's gonna be the same LED lights that we showed you guys up front in that tack room. You're gonna have one for your front compartment, one for your back two compartments that's kind of split between those gates. So again, giving you enough light that if you do need to turn a light on, jump up on that six, seven, six wide running board, look in here, check on your horses, make sure they're hauling okay. Those lights really give you the ability to do so. Or if you want to run down the road with those lights on so your horses can see what they're doing, really see their footing, maybe see what they're eating if you're feeding them in this trailer, those lights are going to give you the ability to do that. Cool thing you don't see on a lot of stock combos is we do run an escape door on that stud stall. Again, if you guys get in a jam and you can't offload the back door, you always have the option to jump horses off this front uh, door here. I don't suggest it not in an emergency because it is a pretty big drop for a horse. The main reason I like it is because, again, I talked about hauling hay in this front stall. You're more than welcome. You can keep your horses loaded. If you have hay in here, tack, grain, anything you need to get to to maybe stop, feed your horses while you're traveling, you can easily open this escape door, get to whatever's stored in this front st stud stall. Never have to worry about offloading your horses and then having to reload it when you get where you're going. You can store all your tack up front and access it through this door, which is a really cool feature. Again, something you don't typically see in a stock combo before we jump out of here. Normally you get in a stock combo, you're not going to have kick mats run all the way around these walls. It's just going to be, you know, an aluminum or a steel frame behind there. It's going to be real rough on your horses as far as if they kick that, it's going to damage the frame. We like setting them up to where you can haul, you know, horses, cows, llamas, whatever you want to haul back here and haul them safely. Keep your trailer nice, keep your horses nice. You will have a kick mat ran about four and a half feet up all the way around this trailer. So again, if you do have animals that like to paw, you're hauling cattle that like to tear stuff up. They're going to be tearing at that rubber, not the actual frame of this trailer. So it's really easy for you guys to maintain as far as you can fix the rubber, you can clean the rubber. But once you start dinging up that aluminum, it's pretty hard to fix. So we like to set these trailers up to last you guys a long time. So we come down the head side of this trailer. Again, it's going to be pretty similar to that uh, tail side we just looked at. Again, plexiglass all the way around. You're going to have a 16 inch LED spotlight for this side of the trailer, give you guys enough light if you're going to be saddling, tying out, feeding on this side of the trailer as well. Then again, you'll have the same three tie rings on this side, so you could easily tie six horses out to this trailer no problem. And I think you could actually probably fit five or six horses in here with those dividers swung open like that. So again, it gives you the ability to haul maybe three separated, a couple in each stall, or you can just haul wide open and fit you know five, six horses in here pretty easy. There's that look at that escape door right there. Again, super easy access. You'll have that step up in there because it is seven, six wide. So you will get a little bit of a running board step up into that stall area if you are storing stuff in that front stall. Again, that escape door, you can't really see it from that angle. But again, full plexiglass all the way around, even on that escape door, high and low. So you move up front, it is just a standard hand crank manual jack. We can easily upgrade this to a hydraulic jack if that's something you guys wanted to do after the fact or include it in the deal. You love this trailer, but you don't want to hand crank it. We can easily put a hydraulic jack on that through our shops. Next to that, you will have your matching wheel and tire, so you don't just have a donut. If you get a blowout, get a flat or something like that, Cimarron gives you a matching aluminum wheel. So when you throw this new tire and wheel on, you're going to a show, rodeo, whatever it may be, your trailer doesn't look off. It matches, all your wheels and tires match, and you don't have to worry about you know having to swap a steel wheel back off. You can just put a new spare on that blown tire, mount it right there, and never have to worry about keeping swapping tires. Up here, again, pretty standard. You're gonna have your two and five sixteenths BMW coupler. You'll have your safety chains and then your breakaway cables situated over here as well. Now, I just wanna keep you guys in mind, this is a used 2022. So it's a really lightly used 2022 used stock trailer. They're really hard to find. Um, but again, it's been fully serviced through our shops. Breakaway brakes, your brakes, bearings. It's got a fresh alignment on the axles on this trailer. It gets the full run through, even though it is lightly used. So this trailer is going to be as like new as we can possibly make it through our shops. And we do that for every single used trailer we get in, in, in our inventory. So you can be confident buying a used trailer from TransWest that it has fully gone through the shops and it will be as like condition new as we can possibly make it. But if you're interested in this stock combo, again, it's a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star. It's a 24 foot combo. The stock number for this unit is 5U221245. Again, this trailer is sitting here. It is available right now. Um, Stock combos are really hard to find. Um, if you're interested in this trailer, or maybe some other trailers that we have sitting here, maybe some we're getting in that are similar, maybe a little different, whatever fits you guys, we'd be more than happy to find a trailer that'll work for you guys. If you're interested in this trailer or some of the other trailers you may have or have on order, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.